school in Albertson is just like most in the tri-state. They see athletics as a way to develop several skills. The goal of the Viscardi School is to empower students to be active and self-sufficient. The only difference is that this New York school is dedicated to students with physical disabilities. As MSG Varsity Steve Yelps explains, the sport of basketball is just as important at this school as any other. In so many ways, the annual basketball tournament at the Henry Viscardi School is like any other. Fans are cheering, the ref is calling the games tight, the players are intensely focused. The one difference? They're all in wheelchairs. is a school for students whose primary disability is a physical challenge. But on this day, those disabilities go out the window, and these kids get to hoop it up. Today is a, a, a culmination of a, a year's work, a half a year's work, of getting these kids ready and prepared to play competitive basketball. These kids work really hard to do this, and I mean, the medical complications that they have are very serious, and yet they are committed to playing basketball better. These kids just are so involved and so competitive, and yet they understand everything about sportsmanship. It's just all about participating and playing the game and having people see all the things that they're capable of doing. Over the years, the Viscardi School has adapted the game of wheelchair basketball in order to make sure that all of their students could show off those capabilities. Nice we have a series of three hoops, a two-foot hoop, a four-foot hoop, and an eight-foot hoop. And basically, the player would shoot at a hoop that he or she uh, is most comfortable at. There's also a ring device that OTs have devised to put on a lap of a student who cannot physically hold the ball on his or her lap, and so that ring keeps the ball in place. Now, don't let the wheelchairs fool you. The tournament here at Biscardi High School, it gets pretty competitive. And these kids, well, these kids can ball. They're regular kids, so they love sports. They know the game. They watch the NBA and the college games all the time. So they have a good base of knowledge of basketball. Don't un underestimate us. We can do a lot, you know, a lot in the sport and everything, just as, uh, just as well as you guys can. If you have seen our teams play, you cannot imagine the rigor with which they play and the aggressiveness with which they play. They, they go over on two wheels, they, their chairs fall over, they get up, they, it's remarkable. What's also remarkable are the smiles. I like when I got that basket. Plus I was not up all the way to, all the way to. How much fun did you have today? So much. It's beyond belief, you know, seeing him do things like this and playing with other children. It's great. It's a great reward. It was amazing when he scored that basket, you know, the smartest face. It's like, it's so pure that, you know, it's, it's happiness. It's, it's amazing. It just gives our kids a sense of normalcy. You know, they're on a team. They're a teammate. They're a competitive. They get to see other people and play the game and exercise, be active, you know, feel normal. Children are children worldwide. Teenagers are teenagers worldwide. Never underestimate what their capabilities are. Well, Steve, thank you very much. A, a fantastic holiday story and one that shows that sports plays a huge role in every aspect of education. Absolutely. Well, the giving, it keeps on going here on the desk, guys.